Hey, YouTube, welcome back. Oh, jeez, that was not the right time to start. Oh, God. Okay, we're just gonna run with it. Hey, YouTube, this is Mr. Penguin, and we're playing Goodnight Butcher. I started and was immediately attacked by monsters. But, uh, we're a butcher and a demon baker, you can tell by, you know, pentagrams. Actually, that's not a pentagram. That's something else. That's just an eye of Sauron. Uh, but uh, this is a pentagram. Here we go. I knew there was a pentagram somewhere. There had to be, because, you know, demons, I guess. But we're just going along with our job. This is what we do. We turn things into smaller bits of thing for people to eat. Because what's your... God damn it. And silly ghosts... Silly ghost tricks are for kids. Um... Stakes are for kids. We're, they're just locking all the doors, making things really difficult for me. There we go. Turning off the lights, all that stuff. But it's... I, I like this game. I, I don't know why, but I do. I'm enjoying it. I like his little walk cycle. Doop, 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 doop. He's so calm. He's just just going along with... Oh, I thought the lights were off. Damn it. I just didn't need to do that at all. What a waste of time. Oh, that was new. Oh, God. What was that? Okay. So, things are getting a little weird. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even do something in that room. Why did I leave? That was dumb. Oh, that was dumb. I'm doing so many dumb things right now. So, just to recap on... Oh, oh, what? What? This isn't the room I walked into. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, the lights are off, too. So many things. Uh, okay, I'm up here now for some reason. Okay, so that that eye is something new that warps me to different rooms. I get it. I get it. I sound angry just because I'm salty, but I kind of like that mechanic. I like the fact that it forces you to reevaluate your strategy of where you're moving. That kind of actually helped me out. So you know, more power to me. Oh jeez. Around you. Please don't cat. Damn it. Roll it around to this door. Oh, thank God it was unlocked. I would have been screwed. No, no, no. Drop off the meat. Yes. Another drop in the vial. May your meat be consumed by the everlasting father. I have no idea what I'm doing. This game is getting to me. I'm just going to go straight up. There's no guy to watch out for. Oh, that's... You know, don't, don't be in front of me. No, I said don't be in front of me. Right, so I'm getting used to this map, right? This thing, the handle and where things are and which rooms and how, how to get around in order to avoid uh, beasties for the most part. God damn it. Um, but... Fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. Where's the door? Oh, my God. Yes. Sorry. Sorry! Um... And with the warp thing that happens, like, the eye pops up and you've been warped to a different part of the, the map, doesn't always warp you. It's a little bit weird. I don't like that. Like, other- the fact that the warping happens is fine. Um, that it warps you sometimes to a- Oh, thank god, I was about to die. Um, that it warps you sometimes to a completely different part of the map, and sometimes not? It's a little bit weird. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. This is really loud. Is that something like different, or is the guy just in the room somewhere freaking me out from around the corner? That was, that was legitimately creepy, because he never showed up. Oh man, my like vision started to darken. I think blood was rushing to my head. Oh jeez. Okay, so that was that was really well done. I like that. Good on you. Good on you, guy. Developer, perfect square. Dispose of the bones. Cut the meat. Fill the sausages. Grind the burger. Fill the case. Oh man. Not what I was expecting. What happened to the instructions? And what do I do about this one? Because before it was run. And then it was, don't let him see you. And now it's just... Ah! So, you know, 
I don't know what to do. Um, we're just gonna keep going. Dude, Skeletor, I do not have time for your bullshit. I'm a minimum wage employee, working at a butcher shop in the middle of the night. Ah, oh, man, I mean, I like that I get to be a hermit. I don't have to talk to people, you know? I just prepare the meat. I don't have to actually sell it to the customers, which is, you know, that's the annoying part, right? If someone else does that for me. I just show up in the middle of the night. The carcass is already hanging. They're ready for me to go. But then Skeletor shows up and he's like, hey, hey. You make a minimum wage? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, how would you like to have that even not be worth your time at all? And I'm like, no, please, I'd rather that not be the case. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Oh, that's a different noise. Who are you? Oh my god, it's Skeletor's uncle. Oh god. Oh, that was different. Okay, so there's still... I mean... This is the time we're gonna hit the, the little bandage on the vial, so I assume there's gonna be another cutscene? We'll see where that goes. There are times where I'm pretty sure it's physically impossible to win. There, there have been times where I walk into a room, right? It warped me to a different room, and then it, the lights were out, and then the guy on the ground who crawls at you was there. I was like, this is fine, this is acceptable. And then immediately after that, I heard the sound of the guy who follows you around. And then I turned around and I said, I said, screw it, I'll just leave this room and I'll go find a different path. And the door was locked. So there was literally nothing I could do. There was nothing I could have done in that room to not die. And it was the, the second to last thing that I needed. And so I was screwed. And then I have to do the entire thing over again? That's messed up. Dispose of the bones, grind the organs, cut the meat. Dispose of the bones, grind the organs, cut the meat. Dispose of the bones, grind the organs, cut the meat. Dispose of the bones, grind the organs, cut the meat. Come on. It's the last one. Just need to get down to that room. It's warping me all over the place. Come on, one more, one more. This is it. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, time to leave. What? Oh, okay. I mean, this is where I started, right? This was where I enter? That's it, time to clock out. I'm done. I'm done. Uh... Good night, butcher. Last night, the authorities arrested an unnamed man leaving the condemned Happy Knife Butchery. Inside, they found dozens of victims mutilated using old machines that displayed in its case like meat products. Though they have failed to determine his name or where he came from, this man is believed to be the most dangerous serial killer in the country! The Sentry! Sun Sentry! They are calling him the Good Knight Butcher. The man has, all, has allegedly insisted that he was only acting under the direction of a strange book and even has claimed to have been pursued by demons. A small black volume matching his, strip, matching his description was found in the butchery, though its pages were blank. Inside, our inside source claims that the book was since vanished in the evidence lockup this morning, although the authorities refuse to confirm or deny any of this. Any of this! You win! For new challenge, now try Nightmare Mode! Oh my god, thank god. Oh, that was, that was really testing me towards the end there. <sighs> well, that was... A few quibbles, if I may. Having a room with everything happen at once is insane. Like, if you're gonna have something like that, keep it reserved for nightmare mode, where people are expecting ridiculous difficulty instead of just, like, normal difficulty curves. Because if you walk into a room and you can't escape, you can't see, you can't move freely, and something's chasing you, that's, that's a little bit much. That's just, you lose. So, and, I mean, I wasn't carrying the carcass, so it wasn't like I was afraid to run from that. I was afraid to run because if I ran, I couldn't see where the, the guy was on the floor, and I was gonna die. So... What? What? And, uh, one thing that I think would improve just the, the tension is when you go to saw the carcass to get the products, right? To go to do more stuff, um, you can go up to the saw, use it, and run, while the saw is still, the animation's going, the sound is going, and it just seems like the, like the intention was that you stay there, right? So things might be happening in the room that are chasing you, but you, you have to stay at the saw. That would be so much more, that would build so much more tension. Does that make sense? 
I don't know if I'm being crazy here, but like if you're stuck until the sound ends, the animation ends, you, when you're doing the, the same thing, you can't hear if the guys are getting closer and things are like closing in on you and you're being paranoid. That's a really way, good way to build tension. And uh, a good way to have that room where things, all, everything's happening, say like it's, it's uh, the door locks behind you, the room gets dark, and there's guys on the floor, add the sound for the guy that chases you, but don't actually add the guy chasing you. You see what I'm saying? Because it, it creates a sense of a sense of inescapability in the player, but if they just stay calm, they can handle it. Whereas, even if you're staying calm, the guy kills you almost instantly when he reaches your vision if it's dark, but you can't escape. You, you, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Uh, I really like this track. I just wish there was more. And besides that, it's a solid game. It's really competently built. The, the art style is minimalist, but I, I like it, so it's, it appeals to me, so that's what it is. Although, the guy that reaches out of the vents could do a little, little tweaking to make him less silly looking, I guess? He just, he doesn't scare me. He's just like, do, 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 I'm gonna kill you, so do that what you may. Nightmare mode has been unlocked, but I think I'm gonna leave this video here. If you guys want to see me play Nightmare Mode, leave that down in the comments below, right past the, you know, the, the little subscribe button and the, the like button, which, since you're scrolling down there, let me know to do Nightmare Mode anyway, you might as well hit it. Oh, and for further reasons for me to do Nightmare Mode, it looks like there's two more pages in the uh, book that I haven't gotten yet that probably show up if you do Nightmare Mode. So hey, hey, there's that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will check you guys in the next series. The spider's moving. I repeat it. Oh, I died. Oh, Jesus, that was nails crawling up my spine.